In IPMAC 2020 and earlier, the DILR sets used to be very easy. People used to depend on that for easy 20 marks. However, in 2021, we had a set on tournaments and fixtures which was hard. And people did not realize it and they spent almost 10 minutes just trying to tackle that DILR set. And that was 33% of their sectional time. Because of this, they were unable to put their time into easier questions that existed, including me. And that is why I did not make the indoor guy MCQ cutoff. I was left out by two marks. So people started thinking that DILR is very hard, let's ignore it. And in 2023, a very simple DILR set came which people did not even look at until the last minute. However, most people who cleared the cutoff attempted it. So the moral of the story is, when your MCQ section starts, look at the DILR set once, if it's working well and good. If not, ignore it, come back later if you have time, but focus on the easy questions first. You just need to confirm whether the DILR set in itself is easy. And if you want to practice all these mock strategies, we have unlimited sectionals, topic-wise tests, and 75 mocks on afterwards. Abhi, let's just solve the question that came in 2023. So the story in this set is that drug A can work in organism R. And what this means is, imagine this is not R, but rat. So there's a medicine, A, which can work well on rats. Each drug works on at least one organism, but not more than two organisms. So, if I look at the number of tick marks in this particular row, it can be one or two. And this is applicable for all the rows like this. Basically, I cannot have a row where all the three have tick marks. Now, each organism can be treated with at least two and at most three of these five drugs. So if I look at the columns like this, can have either two or three tick marks. So let me note it down. Row me, I can have one or two. Column me, I can have two or three. And this is true for all of these things. On whichever organism A works, B also works. So we see that A works on R. So that would mean B will also work on R, right? So a tick mark down there to him. Similarly, on whichever organism C works, D also works. That makes our life easy. So C works on Q, so D will also work on Q. And we know that we can have a maximum of three tick marks in a column like this. So the remaining things have to be a no. Right? Now, we also know that we can have a maximum of two tick marks in a row like this. That means this will also be a no. Now, can I have a tick in A? If I have a tick in A, that means B should also work, but B is not working. So I cannot have a tick in A. So it will be a no down there to him. So let us assume I put a tick in E. My D will be a cross. And my C will also have to be a cross because whatever organism works in C will have to work on D. But based on this, I have only one tick for this organism, but I need a minimum of two and a maximum of three ticks. So this cannot work. The only combination that works if you think about it is if I put a tick over here at C, I'll have to put a tick at D, which will render E useless to me. So this satisfies the criteria of minimum two to three drugs working for an organism. And this is the only way we can satisfy it. Now that we have this information, and we know we can have a maximum of one or two ticks per row like this, we can cross off these two things. And we know we need a minimum of one. So for this, we need one tick over here. There are five questions. You'll be able to solve all of them now that you have this data. And this question is easily solvable in two to five minutes. Last year, the MCQ cutoff for general students was 39. And this has given you 20 marks, which is almost 50% of your marks required to clear the cutoff. So do not take DILR lightly. If you have time left, please to study. You never know if a familiar question is going to come and that can benefit you. At the same time, do not compromise on your mathematics in order to just put 100% efforts into this. You are smart, you're not a second grader, you know how much time to devote to each of these sections based on your strengths and weaknesses. That's not a one-sized approach. You're smart, attempt marks, practice questions, and you can figure it out.
Thank you very much. Like and subscribe. Hey, it's Afterboards.